It is narrated that when Imam Hussein salam was born, the Holy Prophet peace be upon him started to cry over Imam Hussein. When he was asked why he was crying, he replied with eyes filled with tears, an unjust group shall slay him after me. Imam Hussein was raised in a pure family. His grandfather is the Holy Prophet peace be upon him. His father is Imam Ali salam. His mother is Sayyida Fatima and his brother is Imam Hassan peace be upon them all. He had the best of characteristics and morals such as kindness, humility, courage, patience and always upheld to the truth and forbade the wrong. After the Prophet's death and even before his death, there was a discord and disunity between companions, certain Arab clans and the hypocrites. The pure family of the Prophet had to deal with extreme difficulty and great danger, not only to themselves and to their family, but to Islam as a whole. There are many chains and events that led to the martyrdom of Imam Hussein salam in Karbala, but we want to start with a person called Muawiyah. So who was Muawiyah? Muawiyah is the son of Abu Sufyan, who was a staunch enemy of the Holy Prophet and had many wars against the Prophet peace be upon him. Muawiyah's mother is known as Hind. She is known for her hatred towards the Prophet and known for eating the liver of the Prophet's uncle Hamza, the noble defender of Islam. Muawiyah grew up in a family known to be cunning, materialistic and hungry for power. Muawiyah and his father Abu Sufyan are called Tulaqa. Tulaqa literally means when a prisoner is released even though they deserve punishment. The term was used after the conquest of Mecca when certain people only became Muslim to save their lives. Muawiyah was very hypocritical in his actions and had extreme vengeance in his heart against the Holy Prophet, his family and followers. Muawiyah had an elder brother called Yazid, not to be confused with his son also called Yazid. His brother was appointed as a main commander by Abu Bakr after the Prophet's death and then later on Umar bin Khattab appointed him to be the governor of Syria and surrounding areas. After Yazid died, Umar put Muawiyah in his brother's place as governor. Upon coming to power, Muawiyah took advantage of the rich public treasury of Syria, using it personally to buy favours and influence people. After Umar died, Uthman bin Affan reappointed Muawiyah for the same position even though many people had objections to it. Uthman also gave Muawiyah additional powers and influence, so much that Muawiyah became the most powerful influential ruler of Islamic lands. The unjust distribution of the public treasury by Uthman and the appointment of unjust governors led to an uproar and protest by the Muslims which eventually had Uthman killed. Imam Ali salam became the rightful caliph of the Muslims. He ordered that the wealth and properties of the public treasury that were unjustly taken must be returned. Certain leaders didn't like their position taken away so they began to plot against Imam Ali. Imam Ali also removed the unjust governors from their positions especially Muawiyah. Muawiyah wasn't going to stand down quickly especially after gaining so much power so he refused and also started to plot against Imam Ali. The ones that lost their positions and couldn't gain power allied with Aisha the Prophet's widow and claimed to take revenge of the killers of Uthman in which started the war between the Muslims. The war is known as the Battle of the Camel. Imam Ali couldn't ignore the situation, he had to act fast and restore peace and order. He tried to persuade the opposition of their wrongdoings but did not succeed and led to thousands of people losing their lives. After the opposition was taken down and the war was over, Imam Ali stayed in the city where the war took place for a while to try and restore law and order. At the same time Muawiyah had plotted to kill Imam Ali and a war broke out between both of them. The war is known as the Battle of Sifin. As Imam Ali's army was about to win the war, Muawiyah deceived the people by hanging the Quran on spears and forced the Imam to negotiate and use an arbitrator. Muawiyah's sly tactic confused many people and Muawiyah escaped defeat. The arbitrator did not deliver the message of the Imam and deceived the people. Certain followers from Imam Ali's army were confused about the outcome and felt double-crossed and deceived by Muawiyah. The sly trick of Muawiyah left them disappointed and some of them rebelled during and after the war and they formed a separate group called the Kharijites. 
The Kharijites took matters in their own hands and didn't obey Imam Ali, but also opposed Muawiyah for his deceit. They continued to cause mischief and Imam Ali السلام, tried many attempts to calm them down, but resulted in the war called the Battle of Nahrawan. The Kharijites were defeated and some wounded and some escaped. In the meantime, Muawiyah used this opportunity to invade other countries and cities such as Egypt, Hejaz, Yemen, Iraq and other neighboring countries to gain more power and influence. He bribed many of the Imam's troops, many of them leaving to join Muawiyah. Muawiyah also used the opportunity to spread secret agents all over the regions to defame the Ahlul Bayt. He would even curse Imam Ali السلام, on the pulpits in the mosque. The Holy Prophet peace be upon him has said, Loving Ali is a sign of belief, and hating Ali is a sign of hypocrisy. In another narration it says, We recognize the hypocrites by their hatred of Ali. The Kharijites that escaped now plan to assassinate Imam Ali, Muawiyah and Amr ibn As, who was an enemy of the Prophet and had complete enmity towards Imam Ali. Imam Ali السلام, was martyred while praying, while Muawiyah and Amr got away. Never in the history has anyone seen a ruler like Imam Ali السلام, in justice and purity, and one who had preferred the truth over falsehood rather than obeying selfish desires.